Hey guys, welcome to The Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andres Salazar. Today on Comic Spotlight, the hidden gems of comics that I kind of do every now and then, we're going to just dive into a, a, a little small book that I found. Everybody might not know about it. It's called White Suits. It was a four-part miniseries by Frank Barber and Toby Cypress. Now, Toby Cypress, I know, I met him a couple times and I followed his stuff before. Big fan of his artwork. And so I found these in the 50 cent bin and I had to pick them up. I only have three of the four, unfortunately, but um, I totally dug the book and I was like, okay, I gotta talk about this. So this is Comic Gems. We're doing one of these little, the hidden gems, um, Comic Spotlight. Basically, his art reminds me a lot of Paul Pope, but with maybe some more textures and things like that he plays with, a little more experimental. Um, Dark Horse Comics, this was in bah, 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 2014, so it's a few years old. Uh, to me, that's still new, though. And uh, I really dug the art, and I really just liked the story and what was going on, what he was doing, so let's chat about it, and let's uh, break this down a little bit, okay? So... The white suits, basically, they're these uh, mysterious killers dressed in white, as it says right here. Um, we start off, so I just love the, again, the line work. I really like the um, kind of energetic brushwork, uh, whether it's digital or not. This, I really think, is not digital. I'm gonna show you a couple reasons why, but I could very well be mistaken. <laughs> um, really love the color scheme. I love these these angles here. It's just good. Toby's really good. He's New Jersey, I believe. He's, I think he lives in New Jersey or New York. Um, met him in San Diego. I think it was San Diego a couple years back. Um, just does some great stuff. Nice guy. And uh, he did some work. For, he did uh, some work for Image on a, a book. He was uh, one of the artists for, I think it's called the Blue Blue Estate. Blue State. Um, and he did a couple other books. The Hot Hot Racer, Hot Rod Racer, something like that. Punk Jazz. Oh, crap. I'll put show notes and I'll give you notes on where, he, where you can find Toby. His stuff's great. He's doing all the art. So if you see art, it's him. Coloring the whole shebang -a bang Look at this. I love this, man. I bought this for 50 cents. I was super impressed with this page right here. I love using the title and the art. I love this kind of, again, I'm gonna keep saying Paul Pope because it just, just gives me that feeling. I love the texture here, the, the detail of this and the colors. This just is a great piece. This would be a great piece on the wall, especially if you uh, are Russian, <laughs> perhaps. But yeah, great stuff. Just really, really neat. And this neat idea of the slices, you know, of the, of the face is really cool. And he's using these cool screen tones, and I really like the way he uses them. Um, and we'll show more of that. If you look here, you can kind of see how it's not perfect, it's not digital black. You can see the ink, the ink lines. You can see how the ink is not perfect. And uh, you can see the screen tone underneath that, or on top of it rather. So you can, so to me, this looks like this is like a real page. And when I've seen his originals years ago, that's how he works. So I'm assuming it's still the same way. Uh, I also really like this really uh, thin, I don't know if he's using something like this, these little gel white pens or not. Um, I don't know if he's using that or not, but uh, I really kind of like that. Just a little bit of white there to give us some texture. And I hope that my glare is not gonna mess this up, but okay. Just wanna skim through this, you know, a lot of fun digital. He is using now, you know, in post, He's using some fun like color burns. You know, this looks like color burn brush, things like that. So just to kind of give it some cool flavor, you know, right here. And he's just color burning parts of it though. That's just kind of neat. Again, it's expressive. You know me, I like that abstract kind of like quality to it. So really nice 
panel there. I really like the way this works, and this is a nice too, thing too. So, uh, great vocabulary. This is a, one of my favorite pages. I thought this was so cool to see. Um, really neat framing here. This is just really cool. Love, uh, love incorporating the um, sound effects. And you can kind of see in here, he looks like he's scratching off. See with these duotone, you can actually use a razor blade and kind of scratch, or you can use your, you know, you can even use this and kind of scratch a little bit of the, of the duotone off, which is kind of neat. So, um, looks like that's what he's doing. And then, then in Photoshop, using like a color burn tool or something like that, and it's kind of like burning that out. Um, this is neat. Yeah, I just, I just really like the colors where that turned out. Great pose. Um, and I also love the kind of just the very simple shape with the highly detailed Lego boots. Works really well. This is fun stuff too. Again, I like this. I like the abstract feel to it. Um, this is the kind of stuff I just, I mean, this is stuff I'm going to, again, think about. I'm going to think about this with my book, art. I'm going to think about, you know, uh, the few, which we did before. We're gonna think about the, you know, there's these different kind of styles that are similar that use this look to it. Um, so I'm gonna be thinking about this book. This is on my pile of reference to kind of get ideas on framing and use of color and things like that. So really cool. Really thought this was really great. And then there's a couple every now and then we'll get a full on like big color page that kind of like really bring us out. You know, he's not doing this to, you know, Dark Horse isn't doing this because they only want to do two-tone to save a couple bucks. This is clearly style and artistic uh, reasoning. It's not financial. So so then when you see something like this pop out, you're like, whoa, crap, that's cool. This brings it better. Um, so I'm just going to flip through this here a couple of times. But yeah, white suits, really great. I love, I love that. So this is another thing. I think it's kind of cool when he puts down the duotone. You know, you would think you would just shape it, uh, you know, according to the head, but he's just putting just like a square there. And I don't know why I really like that. I just think that's just fun. It just, it's, I, ha I haven't seen it. You know, I know you guys comment below if you've seen some other artists do it and who does that. Cause I like to know who, who does that. Cause I think that's just cool. Uh, maybe Mafu does something like that. This is another, Mafood is similar. I think Mafood is more, even more abstract, a little more simple. Uh, I think this has a little bit more, um, I don't wanna say draftsmanship, but maybe I will. And maybe that's really just a style choice. I, I don't think Mafood would have a problem doing this if he wanted to, but yeah, this has a little bit more draftsmanship to it, I think. Um, so the story is, you know, these white suits are, it's kind of an assassin, assassin kind of story with these, these, uh, these private eyes getting the mix of it. So this is really fun too, again. I'm just gonna just thumb through, this is a great page. And look at here, another big, so he makes these big double page spreads. Look at that though. Look at the color, look what's going on. You know, um, all the different textures here. Just really beautiful page. A lot of stuff's going on. It really kind of excites me. It makes me think about what I'm doing and how sometimes it feels very simple. You know, well, part of it is I'm, I don't have this big battle scene too, but um, yeah, it's really cool. Really impressive. So, um, yeah, I like this too. I like these kind of these, you know, red rain kind of coming down. Yeah, and these stripes. Yeah, so really kind of neat. And then we go in almost like kind of a peach color with the the screen tones, you know, and different kind of textures that are. Um... Oh, yeah, that's great. So yeah. That's all, just wanted to do the quick video. Didn't want to go crazy on it. 
but I thought this was really fun. I think artistically speaking, it is very good and it's impressive. And uh, I would definitely say if you can pick up white suits somewhere, and I don't know if it's traded, it might be traded up. Um, I would say this is a great book to kind of study and to read and to just enjoy. And I need to find number three because I've got one, two, and four. So if you have white suits number three, let me know and uh, send it my way here in Ventura, California. Okay, thanks guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel. You're going to see a lot of other stuff that I have. I do two videos a week. And check out my Patreon to see uh, what's going on over there with my own books. Thanks. Bye.